and welcome back. So last time, we stole our grandfather's film so we could put it in this 60s camera. <laughs> mm-hmm. But before we do that, we need to fill up on a little bit of that uh, holy juice. Well, you know, Grandpa, he's all about the 60s, you know, old-timey cameras, laser disc, uh, computers from back then. <laughs> right, right. Uh, racism. The Olympics. <laughs> oh, he loves those. Kind of made a little bit of a leap there, but sure. I'm sure you're you're completely right in that. He's got rubber soul playing 24 hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it did come in handy. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, I would also be pretty happy about if it did say may come in handy at some point, but actually just fills out your inventory for the rest of the game. Completely useless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh. Huh, that does look like a photo from a crime scene. You He's know just what? You're right. holding up a wily e. coyote sign that says, I murdered her. Another example <laughs> of Alyssa just being a fantastic detective. This is what every date to warts me at the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we know that crooked painting. I think that was the one that she was like, I should fix this, and she didn't. <laughs> right, but now we have a reason to fix it. Well, no, we're messing it up even more so. <laughs> I'm so glad <laughs> that this house that looks like an entire shanty house fit into one building somehow was expensive enough to have a hidden switch. Yep, it's great. Uh, so we'll walk past that haunted room and we'll uh, we'll fix the painting. Why don't we just make it so, like, the mountain range is, like, facing upwards? Nah. Eh. She can't reach that far. Anyways, we come outside and we find another save point, so why not take advantage of it? Because you'll also note, we haven't seen a murderer yet. Been a, gone a long time well, without a murderer. You know, except for in the picture of the crime scene, you know. Well, yeah, but, I mean... <laughs> You think that's... I mean, hey, he could have been a cop. Again? He could have been cleaning up. <laughs> oh, that's true. It was the <laughs> 60s. The subordinates were really into peace and love back then. <laughs> God, I hope we find the murderer and he just has, like, a Beatles haircut. <laughs> it's just Ringo Starr. Outside by yourself. I came to tell you that Dennis... Turns out he's the one who's been killing all the Beatles. <laughs> Watch out, he's got a copy of Catcher in the Rye with him. <laughs> <laughs> You just concentrate on your work. Anyway, what is it you're making this time? Some new toy that'll have the local kids a gog, I bet. It's called a videoed game, mother. <laughs> <laughs> Albert, what's this? Winter's coming, and I don't want you catching cold, wandering around outside. I've been making this in my spare time. How is it, warm enough? <laughs> it's lovely. So warm and soft. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hell <laughs> 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 save. Hell save. Wait, is he an exterminator? What? <laughs> <laughs> I love this scene so much. Um, Man. Do you remember? They, they, they talked about how John Haig was killing people with acid. He is, uh, he has like a big acid pack on his back and he's, uh, burning people alive with his shower head. Or just hitting them. Which is great, well, too. I mean, yeah, that too. He's not even hitting them. He's just smashing the room apart. <laughs> the thing is, he's just like way into this guy's toys and he thinks he really sold out by making <laughs> clothes for his mom. Oh my god. Yeah. It's, uh... <laughs> Oh no, watch out, he's got the catcher in the eye with him. Flee, Alyssa. <laughs> and now you know why both of them were bleeding from the eyes when we saw them before. They've been cursed to search for each other for all eternity. <laughs> all because this guy hates modern family values. That scene sure turned into something. <laughs> I hate that, like, every Hallmark movie ends like that now. It's such a cliche. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Uh. <laughs> don't worry, we've got a little chemicals of our own. <laughs> we got him. We actually just threw the lead paint that he was painting all the toys with at him. <laughs> Case closed. Unfortunately, we we have to go right back in. Yeah. Hey, are you okay? I'm sorry about what I did back there. <laughs> and we have to be careful because he's disappeared and if we knock over one of the things that, like, alerts them, him, he will immediately just pop out. <laughs> so, we're taking advantage of the time we have without a murderer. Being very so, careful. Wait, there were specific triggers for him to spawn? There are things that will make him spawn, and, or he'll just appear after a certain amount of time. Like, uh, when we walked in, there was, like, a plank that we knocked over. And if we knocked it over while he wasn't around, he would immediately be, like, alerted to our presence and find us. Ah. And start chasing us, yeah. Mm -hmm. Having a little trouble on that corner. But we have a toolbox key, and we saw a toolbox before in Albert's room. I don't know. Maybe, it, like, the person who got the t key is just, like, a real big fan of tool. <laughs> That's worse than any murderer. So if we go down the hall the other way... Like, going up to the staircase to Albert's room, uh, the murderer would be there. So instead, we're going to use the uh, trick we found before. That's right, just to go up the fireplace, because he can't follow us. But it, it's kind of like how uh, my apartment key is, uh, it has the red M&M on it, because I'm just a big fan <laughs> of the red M&M. <laughs> right, classic. Mm -hmm. The single tool in this toolbox is just That's like, right, that's all he needed to make his toys. Mm-hmm. That's why he was laughing, actually. He took all the other wrenches out. <laughs> it was just a prank of you. So I cut out a bit here where we're waiting for him to show up because we get a little extra, like, scene if he sees us come down the fireplace. So he can follow us down this time now that he's seen us use it. And... <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I thought she was just gonna try to hide behind the fire extinguisher. Well, no. Instead, we're hiding behind the whatever the fire extinguisher releases. Man, he has a fucking walk cycle that I can get into. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is cool. I think honestly, it might be my favorite serial killer in this entire game. <laughs> Well, why don't you write a fucking true crime podcast about him? <laughs> if you love him so much. <laughs> well, maybe I will. I love this guy. My name is Future Friend 823. <laughs> this man hates families and he kills them. That was my report. I mean, I'm also kind of impressed by, like, he must have clearly put some work into this because he had that giant vat of acid just completely ready to dump them into, like, right next to their room. Oh no, he's been working on this for weeks. Yeah. He's been working on his speech. Oh, this is the guy who puts all those explosive barrels into every video game. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. So, we need the hexagonal wrench so that we can uh, turn this and stop the fan next to us because we're going to crawl through it. I wish whenever you sprayed him with holy water, it was like, what kind of acid is this? <laughs> <laughs> And we also saw the sentimental item we'll need this time, which was uh, Dorothy's shawl, which had fallen into uh, this, the gutter. Which is where your mind is. Damn. Uh, bad news, somehow he's beat us to it. <laughs> he's just standing right here and, uh, oh! Oh no! Oh, Wait, shit. did he round pound you? What the Hell fuck? Yeah. He, just, he just did like a fucking butt drop on you. I believe they call that a power bomb. <laughs> He does powerbomb you. Now it gets a little dark here in the sewers. But there's a ghost there. Forget him. And there's something we need to do in this room. Uh, save. Well, that too, but first. I found you! <laughs> oh, that's what you get for stamping <laughs> in a puddle. <laughs> And he's fried. She just thought that was gonna turn on the lights. 
Happy coincidence, really. I mean, it kind of did. I don't know, it looks like lights out for that guy. <laughs> Anyways, we get a lavender water for our hard work in murdering the murderers. <laughs> we have to go around his dead body, it's a little inconvenient. And we get a letter from someone's daughter. I'm sure we'll need that for some reason. She's like, oh, daddy, I want to grow up to be an acid murderer just like you. <laughs> that's right. That's the sentimental item for real. The mm -hmm. shawl is just like a just like a trick. I mean, it's sure it's sentimental for someone. You know what? I think we should uh, bring John to our house. I think he and the blobby man would have a great time. They both <laughs> seem like they would hate the nuclear family dynamic. Right. <laughs> Bobby man would just take the nozzle and start huffing it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a cheap high. So like I said, it's a little dark here, but um, we have a set of planks that we have to walk over, and it's sort of like a puzzle. Um, there are two sets at each point that we can go across, and we have to go across the ones that are longer. Because, if we go across ones that are shorter... Oh. Whoops. Uh, we fall into the poo water. I'm surprised this isn't the level in your bathroom. And, when we do that, we find a dead body! So is this the corpse of that one ghost that we saw earlier? Yep. Oh, so you need to at least fuck up once to, like, uh, solve this puzzle. Is this necessary? Uh, no, none of these things are, like, necessary. The, the spirits are, like, extra. But it is weird that it, like, requires you to mess up, and you can only mess up at this point, I think. Like, you can't go back to this. But if you don't know the trick to it, it's easy to just mess up, you know, normally in playing the game. Oh, I thought it was like a, a nice uh, scepter for you. <laughs> well, that would be cool, but no. Just starts firing the scepter off from her bow also. <laughs> you know, I gotta be honest. The sewer's not dirtier than any other place we've been to. I'm impressed. I'd almost <laughs> say it's better, honestly. When did England just stop covering everything, like, everything with grime? When did that trend stop? Eh. <laughs> you know? I wish I knew. I wish I fucking knew. Next you're gonna go to old Harry Potter's house. <laughs> That's right, we have to stop his murder? I don't... Eh, do I we? don't know what would we do there that he couldn't take care of. He's a fucking wizard. He can stay on his own. <laughs> and unlike the blobby man, he has to pay rent. <laughs> and so we get Dorothy's shawl. So now it's just a quick run back to the house and everything will be fine. Or... Oh no, there's a it? giant shark that actually killed Dorothy. Uh... It's a merman from Castlevania. <gasps> who is it? Oh. No, really, who is it? I mean, like, yeah. uh... Oh my god! Oh. See, I can't believe it's that guy, because that guy would never shut up for ten seconds. I can't believe it's him, <laughs> because, like, how would he get out of water? Like, he is the least buoyant man alive. <laughs> well, you know, he's like a magical zombie man. Anyways... We're thankfully faster than him. After a little bit of lavender water to get the poo smell off of us. Yeah, that one seemed like... If you did not have any healing items there, you would have been absolutely fucked. It, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty decent gotcha. Wait, I've seen this movement before. This is Ron! Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, the choreography in these scenes is really... Something. Yeah. 
Well, Hell yeah. it's time once again. Oh. I feel we barely got to know John before we murdered him, you know? Yeah, but maybe it's I better feel that like, way. What more do we need to know about John? Yeah, he's an easy man to understand. I thought we'd have to like like give the item first, but I guess that comes after the Yeah. Yep, that was a good one. <laughs> I just noticed her neck is incredibly bad. It was the piece two days. We hadn't figured it out yet. Uh. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> meet Corroder. <laughs> what is this, like, bobbing up and down animation? <laughs> He's very excited about acid. He pops out like a monster from Monster Rancher. <laughs> yeah. There she is. So, as you can see, his thing is acid. <laughs> you get this monster if you put in the Psycho Killer single. <laughs> <laughs> you get this one for the Kiss Psycho Circus. <laughs> this guy is nuts. But, uh, yeah, so he has an attack here where he'll chase you, and four times he'll do that cross attack, and then his, uh, his shower head will jam, which is the chance you get to attack him. Otherwise, he has general attacks that are just, like, throwing a ball of acid or, like, a really long stream. So we're gonna stay a little farther away. I really love the way, like, he has to, like, <laughs> shake it. It's like, whatever, like... <laughs> you know who this guy reminds me of? He reminds me of uh, Dale Gribble from King of the Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Help, they both exterminate society's unwanted Dill bucks. This guy, families. <laughs> <laughs> so, as, as you can see, the uh, the big shot has a lot of range, so you need to, like, give up your shot if you hear him, like, say the thing that causes that attack, or else you're gonna get hit. And see, I took too long, so I have to rechain him again. <laughs> so that's kind of, like, the, the, the hard part of this is, if you're not consistently shooting him or you get hit by the attack once, you start running into problems where... Your uh, your chains no longer hold, and so the boss fight ends up going on longer. Mm. So, do you use the uh, other arrow that you got? Yeah, the binding arrow. Um, you can, and the binding arrow will do like an immediate chain, mm. and the green ones, um, the repelling arrows, will just knock them back. But I don't tend to use them against the the regular bosses. We're saving it for something later. Hmm. Anyway, it's time to drop a train on them. So, so it's a consumable thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a consumable thing. Um, so you only get one arrow per one you pick up. So, like, since he's doing, like, all of his years at once, is this, like, a community service thing, or...? <laughs> yeah. Community service is, uh, burning <laughs> to death. <laughs> And having all the evil torn out of him. Look, there was a spirit. <laughs> I thought it was gonna like leave a star up in the sky. <laughs> it's like Katamari. Just fucking the fear ass death animation. <laughs> oh, and we get another clover. Remember we got one last time. Is as that well. sound effect just like wholesale reused from Resident Evil? Because it really I, sounds like it. Actually, yeah, now that you mention it. I don't know, but it's used for all the items, so. It could be. Anyways, thankfully, we can just, like, casually walk through the sewers now that there's no murderer chasing us. I can't wait for, like, a murderer to be coming after Alyssa, and then he gets distracted, and she's like, What is it? Bingo night? <laughs> Yeah, all in all, it's just, you know, there's something nice about being able to walk through these areas and not wonder if a murderer is going to pop out at any point and kill yeah, us. Yeah, it's so great when the survival and the horror part <laughs> of survival horror is just not there. I love that we're making the streets safer for the citizens here. Yeah, I can just savor the smell, you know? <sighs> wow! <gasps> we did it! Just like we gave that little girl the ability to play the piano, 
We've returned to the power of sight to this old woman. I waited so long for you. What a mama's boy. <laughs> Is the winter shawl you knitted for me? Mother, I can see. I can see too. So the moral of this story was never rent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, turns out Airbnb, maybe not the best idea. Albert, goodbye. More like acid BNB. <laughs> Especially not extended family. Total strangers, okay, but extended family, those guys are freaks. <laughs> oh no! Stop, drop, and roll! Stop, drop, and roll! <laughs> Alyssa gets earthquakes mixed up with her uh, with fire a lot. The, these ending scenes where people just go to heaven, like this one isn't as good as the last one, but they are still just so fucking comical. <laughs> oh no! It's like what? By the way, we're out of Tostitos pizza rolls. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn to go shopping. Oh uh, my god! <laughs> oh my god! It's like a tower made out of a clock! <laughs> Can we talk about how jamming this beat is, by the uh, way? There's a lot of stuff happening. Uh, I knew, uh, I knew Blobby Man would ruin the estate value. <laughs> by the way, I renovated while you were gone. <laughs> This is my man cave, Felissa. You're not uh, allowed to come in here. I love this. This sounds like the intro to, like, a 90s arcade game. This is great. <laughs> yeah. Bring me a beer before it starts, Alyssa. Alyssa's, like, loving it now. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. I mean, look at this. This is kind of cool. <laughs> this is just card evil, too. <laughs> So, not super familiar with the Clock Tower games, but was the Clock Tower like any sort of like symbolism or... No, no it was just, just the Clock Tower. Yeah. No, it's just where the game takes place. This is no longer your home. This it's my home. <laughs> Welcome to the Kiss Darker <laughs> Psycho Circus. <laughs> Do you like my gaming rig? <laughs> and together we will obtain eternal life. My 15th birthday? Are you looking forward to it? So am I. Oh, I am. I ordered so the cake. <laughs> wait. Soon we two will be united forever. <laughs> Alyssa, you might have defeated two of our... I really members. just don't like Jim Sterling's new shtick. <laughs> 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 You're lying. She can't. If you don't believe me, you can go to hell and see for yourself. Holy shit. <laughs> but my birthday's in two days. I can't be dead.